The city says now that they've opened more than 150 emergency sites for roughly 70,000 migrants who arrived in the city over the last year. But still, the city says it's not enough and other communities need to step up. All right, we have team coverage on this developing story tonight. Jody Goldberg in Suffolk County where legislators are exploring legal options to prevent migrants from coming there. But first, we go to Christine Russo who is live outside a temporary shelter in Bayside, Queens with how the mayor and governor are pushing to help get migrants jobs. Christine. Yes, yeah, Steve, Natasha, the message was clear today. Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams say they want legal asylum seekers to get their working papers as soon as possible because they say it's an economic opportunity to fill the labor shortage in the city, especially in restaurants. And now the governor and the mayor have backing from one of the biggest names in the city's restaurant industry. Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams want the Biden administration to expedite the process for legal asylum seekers to get their working papers. They say it's an economic opportunity in a time of a historic labor shortage. More than anything, we need changes to the work authorization policies that will let these individuals not have to wait months and possibly years for that legal status but let's get it in an expedited basis. Founder of the Union Square Hospitality Group, Danny Meyer, says he's on board and is committed to helping asylum seekers get their working rights, adding that the hospitality industry is desperate for workers and simply haven't been able to fill the vacancies in restaurants, especially since the pandemic. There are not enough talented workers who have a heart for hospitality, who have a work ethic, for all the jobs that we could make available. The hospitality industry is the largest single employer outside of government in the United States. Right now, asylum seekers need to wait 180 days after they apply for legal asylum status, waiting in limbo and not being able to work. Some people we spoke to earlier staying at a shelter in Queens say they're just waiting for their next steps and in the meantime are getting their bearings in this new environment. One woman with a three-month-old baby said they crossed through five countries to get here. Meanwhile, Mayor Adams says it's also a humanitarian issue. It is creating an underground market where individuals could be exploited, unable to pay into our tax base, working long and difficult and dangerous jobs because they are living in the shadow of the American dream and not out front. And the city is constantly looking for spaces to house people. Some options that were talked about today, empty dorm rooms in CUNY and SUNY schools, also hangars at JFK, and space uh, that could be available at Floyd Bennett Field in Brooklyn. For now, we're live in Bayside, Queens. Natasha, Steve, send it back to you guys.